Hey everybody, and welcome to Nathan Crash Gets Bodied by the Internet, or just bodied by the Internet as usual. For those of you not familiar with the format of the series, basically I just read scary stories, or like cre creepy like Reddit posts from, I don't know, subreddits and creepypasta websites. And then I give my thoughts and then a number rating from 1 to 10, and that's basically the gist of the whole show. You guys are encouraged to do the same. All you have to do to play the little game is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And for brownie points, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nathan underscore Crash. While I'll be doing more uh, Bodied by the Internet over there live so you can be a part of the discussion. That's that's I think that's a real interesting thing. I also play a lot of video games, horror games mostly, and old games because I'm a geezer. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to... Just basically dive right into things. I'm not going to give you too much of a of a life update. So uh, today's story is going to be from the Let's Not Meet subreddit, and it's from user Ryan Cat. Oh, Ryan cannot can't work Reddit. Uh, it was posted about a day ago, uh, and I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. I want to check it out. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm really excited. I'm going to take my headset off because I don't know why I'm wearing a headset. I'm not listening to the story. Okay, here you go. The setting. Oh, the name of the story is My Neighbor Tried to Kill Me. That's probably, like, pretty interesting. You know, you probably want to know that, but, but I'm sure you know by the title. Uh, <clears throat> All right, well, let's get into this. The setting. I live in a mildly wealthy neighborhood in California that is parallel to a very wealthy neighborhood. My house is on a shared driveway with four other houses, and the driveway is connected to a main road. It's hard to explain, but the driveway is basically an elevated platform made of concrete that is surrounded by hedges that give us some privacy. The only two entrances are a stairway leading to the main road and a, slant, and a slanted section where the car, where cars can drive in. I may, up to, may update you guys with pictures if I get the chance, as I still live here. Across the street from our driveway is another line of houses, which continues down to an, in, continues down to an intersection. This intersection leads to a fountain, which is right where my stalker slash neighbor lives. I would like to clarify that my neighbor lives on another street, so I'm not too sure if I can technically classify her as my neighbor, that is also next to the wealthy neighborhood. The wealthy neighborhood basic, basically connected our streets. This is my first post, so it might not be, be necessary, but a walk from my house to hers would be a, around an eight minute walk. My street is on, a very, is on a very steep hill, so even though our houses are very close, it can sometimes take a while to get to my house when someone is walking uphill. The story. In brackets, it's a long one. When this story took place, I was a 13-year-old boy. I'm also an only child, in 7th grade. And this was basically an adjustment period for me and the rest of my family. My parents had just changed jobs and had started working longer hours. And I, trying to find acceptance at a Catholic middle school, I wasn't Catholic, had started hanging out with the more popular people. Keep in mind, I went to a small-minded Catholic school where everyone was an Irish kid who played multiple sports. So me, being a white-slash-Indian mix, who was also bi, ended up being bullied a lot. I hadn't really come to terms with my sexuality, and I tried to hide it-slash-fit in by taking up basketball, which I actually ended up loving, and, have, and hanging out with the popular kids. Having new freedoms because of my parents were be, having new freedoms because my parents were working more, combined with the fact that I'd actually become more social and popular, ended up with me inviting a few of these people over to my house while my parents were away. I was always a dork who drew all the time in elementary school. I drew my profile picture if you were wondering. I was never acquainted with misbehaving. I was the quiet kid. So when my friends decided to ding dong ditch my wealthy neighbors, I just went with it. I know it's a dick thing to do. But I really didn't think about that, or having the police called on me, being a teenager who was raging with hormones and who was seeking acceptance, so we did it. It was so thrilling for me, because I'd never done anything bad in my life. It almost became routine with my friends on the weekends, but then she came into the picture. I will refer, refer to her as SN, stalker neighbor for the rest of this post, as it's starting to get long. SN stood out, stood out from the rest of the people we ding dong ditched for a multitude of reasons. First off, she would always, always keep her window blinds down, and she was always, always home. Now, it probably seems somewhat reasonable because she's retired, but she looked at 
the oldest in her late 50s. The reason I know this and the reason she started stalking me was because we started to take a special interest in her. My friends would make fun of her and say that she was probably a drug dealer and to be honest she probably was because we took what the fuck okay because we took a special interest in her I thought I read the same thing so I was I was, thought I lost my place because we took a special interest in her uh jeez I lost my place again uh we started trying to record her reaction she would always open the door because she would always be home and she was always so weird as she wouldn't answer the door like regular people instead of realizing nobody was out was there and just closing the door she would peer around and she would step outside and look around all right you said that I wasn't the type of person to get to get out of there as soon as I rang the doorbell no I needed a reaction so I would ding only ding dong ditch with my friends I'm not sure if this is a normal thing but one of us would hide after one of the others rang the doorbell and while they ran away we would watch the house to see if anyone came out soon enough we started to try the recorder. The footage was always shaky and had a crappy quality, so we never had a solid, solid image of her face. And I normally deleted good footage because you could hear laughing from my friends. Don't ask, I don't know why I did this either. Anyway, after a while, it's probably because it's not a true story. Anyway, after a while, uh, she started trying to record us too. She installed one of those doorbells with cameras on them. We were very care careful at first, normally coloring tape with sharpies and covering the camera when we rang the doorbell. But after a couple months, we started to get careless. I guess the tape lifted or something because somehow she found out what I looked like. I'm not sure how, but because our houses were so close, she, st she started to figure out where I lived too. It started out small. I would start to see her on the other side of the street through my window. She would drive her car down our road. Things like that. Small things like that. It started to get worse, however. She started going into our driveway. If you didn't read the setting or whatever, nobody except my my family and our neighbors goes in our driveway. There's only one exit in and out for cars, so it's not a shortcut or anything for people going on the main road. It's also off to the side, and the entrance is hard to notice if you aren't paying attention, so it was no accident. Her visit in suit became more often and were longer. She would drive into our driveway, get out of her car, and stare at our house. These periods of her staring normally lasted about 10 to 20 minutes, and they were only at night. I felt I couldn't tell my parents because they would know I was ding-dong ditching and my friends made jokes about her. If I tried to take a picture, she would run away, and the images would come out dark and blurry. She never did anything, primarily because my room was on the second floor, but she scared the shit out of me. One night, when my parents went, went out for a date, she struck. Um, I was watching a movie in my family room, which has a sliding glass door that leads to the backyard. The gate that leads to my backyard was short and easy to jump. We never tried to reinforce it because our driveway was off to the side and we lived in a somewhat wealthy neighborhood. I had the curtains open and my parents had just left. It was about 8pm and I just had just settled in. As the movie I was watching started, I heard a loud pounding on the glass sliding door. My heart froze and I looked over at the woman. Her wrinkled face was pressed against the glass. Her chapped mouth was pulled back in, in an almost indescribable grin. To this day, I'm not sure if she had a weapon, but I panicked. Her pounding became progressively louder, and her breath steamed up the glass. I screamed and ran into the kitchen. This wasn't the smartest thing to do, because if the because the kitchen is right next to the family room, and she could have seen me, still seen me through the windows. But I wasn't thinking back then. I ran and grabbed the biggest butcher knife we had, and I hid behind the counter. Unfortunately, in my panic, I had forgotten to grab my cell phone, so I was stuck there. Tears streaming down my face, it felt like eternity. After a long time, the pounding on the glass stopped, and I ran to grab my phone. I called the police. The cops and my parents arrived at the same time. My parents saw the police, and they started asking me questions. Terrified, I explained everything to them and the police. The police even found small cracks in the pane of the sliding glass door that weren't there before. Needless to say, there was enough evidence to prove that someone had actually rapped against the glass, but because I didn't have any solid evidence that it was her, there wasn't anything they could do to arrest her. They did start to take longer patrols around along my street, however, just to make sure that we were safe. After that, things started to die down. I didn't really see my stalker. She didn't go out after that. And I stopped re replying to my friends' texts and calls. I came out, and everyone was supportive to me. About half a year later, my stalker moved away, and I never ding-dong ditched again. Crazy neighbor who stalked me, let's m not meet. I'm not going to lie to you guys.
this was a waste of all our time. So it wasn't scary. I mean, it was. I mean, I guess it'd be kind of scary if like, if like there was a creepy old lady, like staring at me through my back window. But like, let's be honest, guys. Can we like, like before? All right, I'm gonna give this rating. I, I would say this a five. It's not like the worst story in the world, but I'm gonna give it a four. Never mind. I lied. I I didn't, I, I had a hard time reading it. There's a lot of grammar issues and stuff, and um, it just, you know, it's. I mean, whatever. And this kind of seems like a bullshit ass story anyway. Um, I don't know. There's, it's, it just didn't really hit me at all. Like, I'm just like, look, dude. Yeah, old ladies are creepy, but like, let's be honest, guys. Like, push come the sh came to shove. Like, we could probably fuck an old lady up. You know, I, I'd, I'd go. I could easily beat an old lady up. Like, I don't know how how old OP was. He me he slash she was a teenager. You know, you could take an old lady. Old ladies are probably, like, besides babies, probably the easiest human beings to beat up. So, this, this, I don't know. It, I don't know. I'm not really scared of old people. Um, and that's not like a, it's just like, you know, just when you, like, look at, like, the capabilities of, like, an elderly person, like, you could probably take on an old person, like, with relative ease, you know, unless you're in really bad shape. Um, <laughs> so here's my advice. If they're... If there's ever an old person breaking into your backyard or whatever, and they don't, they're not armed, just like, I don't know, call the police, and don't forget your, like, how, I don't know, how do you just, like, oh, you know what, this person, this old person, you grab a knife, and then you just, like, you already have the knife, why don't you get your phone, like, you're being a baby, like, this, OP is a baby, uh, I, I, OP's also a liar, because the story's fake as hell, but, uh, there's an edit, in there and it says if you want to see my driveway here's the link it's a, it's a link to imager uh if you want to see it you can go you can go look at that i'm not i'm not gonna show this dude's driveway on 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 this video that's not how this is gonna work but yeah it's a solid four it's a four uh i wasn't i wasn't really enthralled by this one and i'm i'm sorry if you guys don't enjoy this like because i didn't enjoy it but you're more than welcome to give your feedback and your thoughts down below like yeah because this one's kind of i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna do a second video for today like because this is whack dude like this is whack i was gonna just now i have to record another video before bed and i'm like dude this is rough because this is for sunday because well you know i was gonna record two videos for sunday anyway whatever we'll, we'll make an event i'll come up with a name for it in the next video but yeah you're getting too bodied by the internet on the day that this episode comes out because this one was kind of fucking trash but that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you at least liked me reading this shit ass story and giving my dipshit comments on it like when i finally got there's really not much to say about this story honestly like it's just kind of like a one of those middle in, of the road like like stories like uh, it's it's not terrible it's not great I mean it's bad but it's not super bad it's not the worst thing I've ever read so you know thank you to um, Ryan can't work uh, I mean I don't know what else to say I you're I hope if this is real it's also tagged under epic I don't think this is epic. But, uh, uh, whatever, my, my thoughts aside, like, you know, thanks for posting that and, like, you know, putting a story out there. Maybe someone can relate to that. And, you know, if you have an experience similar to this, you can share that. Or if you have a story that you'd like to have me read, you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Because I'll check that out. If there's any video games or things like that you want me to check out, you can also leave that in the comment section. Or, you know, you could just hit me up on Twitter at ITS Nathan underscore Crash. We can have all kinds of discussions there if you're... You'd rather, ha if it feels a little better for you to talk to me on Twitter, I'll, I'll check Twitter and I'll, I'll see, I'll see what's up. You know, if, if you're there, I'll talk to you. I mean, honestly, reaching me in the comments, probably the easiest way because I check comments every day. Um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'm really sorry that this story didn't, didn't really like knock your socks off because it definitely didn't knock my socks off. Uh, hopefully the next one's better. That being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Just have a good one and try not to get bodied. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Just know that I love you and uh, don't get sick with the coronavirus because everyone's everyone's going real crazy about that. And you know, just 
I don't know, wash your guys' hands and don't shake strangers' hands. Like, just, just don't, don't be weird. Just take care of yourselves out there, because, I don't know, everyone's making a big old deal, deal out of it. And stop buying all the fucking toilet paper, Jesus.